When you plug in your console and push the power button, it powers up and takes you to the home screen. In some cases, however, this may not be the case but rather you are left with an orange light on the power supply of the console. This means that the console is not booting up and as a result, you are left with a black screen. If you are experiencing this issue and wondering how to fix it, then you are in the right place. As it turns out, if you are not able to boot up your Xbox One, the first thing that you should do is perform a power supply reset. Performing a power supply reset can be really helpful and it allows for the power supply to drain out its capacitors. It may sound hard to do so, but rather this is the easiest method available to help you resolve the issue. To reset the power supply, simply unplug the cables from your Xbox, and then follow it up by unplugging it from the outlet as well. Once you have completely unplugged your power supply, leave it there for a while. The orange light on your power supply should disappear. After waiting for a while, plug in your Xbox One as well as the power supply, and then try starting it, to see if the issue persists. Having a clean power supply is always a good sign as it prevents several power issues from occurring. If you have a clogged power supply or if it is covered with dirt, there's a really good chance that it is causing the issue on your end. Dust can usually cause power supplies to heat up, and as a result, they do not function as intended. This naturally results in your console not powering up because it is not able to receive sufficient power from the supply. Having a damaged power cable is never good. If the earlier solutions do not work out for you, there is a good chance that your power brick or the power cable may be damaged which is preventing it from working as intended. Power supplies can often go bad usually after power outages, and as a result, they are not able to supply sufficient power to the console. Which is why it is not powering up. The first thing that you should look at is your power cable, and make sure all the pins are intact. In some scenarios, the issue can also be caused by your Xbox One settings or cache files. In such a case, performing a hard reset can get you back on track. Do not worry as performing a hard reset does not remove all your data, but rather only clears the temporary cache files. In addition to this, some settings are reverted, but your data remains intact. To perform a hard reset, hold down the power button of your Xbox One console for about 10 seconds while it is plugged in. Release the power button as the screen turns off, and then disconnect the power cable from your Xbox for an additional period of 10 seconds. After that, you can reconnect the power cable and turn on the console to see if the issue persists. That's it, we hope this video is helpful to you. We would appreciate it if you can like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.